Hi. Uh, so we are going to continue our valuations on preferred stock. Uh, the calculation part, right? So, uh, the value of the price of the preferred stock is being calculated as this one. Price equal to annual dividend income. Of course, this one must be in RM. If it's not in RM, what you have to do is you have to times the par value. If, let's say, it's been given in uh, percentage, such as uh, previously for this uh uh, example let's say it's six percent so in the formula you have to convert this six percent to rm so six percent uh, times rm 100 so you will get six ringgit so this six ringgit you can include in the formula okay so in this one it must be in rm annual dividend uh, in rm and then uh, or uh, kita simbolkan dia sebagai D dan kita bahagi dengan divided by prevailing market yield atau required rate of return. This one is also called required rate of return which is denominated by K. Okay, uh, kita simbolkan sebagai K dekat sini, right? Okay, so let's take a look on the question for March 2012. Alright, so the lighting uh, berhad uh, is quite a long, um, uh, this one is a uh, older versions of the questions but still applicable. So the lighting berhad's preferred stock pays a quarterly dividend of 2 ringgit and 50 cent per share. So if the price of the stock is currently trading at RM50, what is the nominal annual rate of return? So what? Does the question one okay? It wants the k. Alright, so these questions are referring to this k. Given the price is already here, RM50, this is your P, VPS, P, and quarterly dividend. So this is over here, D. This is your D, quarterly dividend. So I'll just uh, uh, write it over here. Okay. For these questions, uh, March 2012. Okay. So, VPS, the uh, price equal to, VPS is denominated uh, for from the uh, price of the preferred stock. So, PS refers to the preferred stock. V is the value or the price of the preferred stock. So, you know the um, formula or just now D over K. Right? So D divide, divided by K. Right? So D is the annual dividend. Does the question uh, give, uh, give to you the annual dividend? So this one, yes. But it said that uh, the dividend is quarter, quarterly. Bermakna RM2.50 ni secara quarterly. So you, uh, dia bukan... Uh, penuh untuk satu tahun. So, you have to times 4. Kena darab dengan 4. So, kita nak yang in the formula adalah yang full for one year. Right? So, what are the total full for that particular year lah. So, of course, this RM 2 ringgit and 50 kita times 4. Okay, and then you calculate this one. Of course, 2 ringgit and 50 times 4 equal to RM10, kan? So, divide by K. Uh, K, we don't know yet. But this one, we have the price, which is RM50. Refer to the question. Uh, this one, the stock is currently trading at RM50. Okay, right. So, you have to calculate over here. So, it will become like this. Uh, K, RM, 10, divide by K. We don't know yet what about, what is the K value. So, we try to calculate the K value over here. So, this one will be RM. Ini formula map biasa je, ya. Okay. Uh, kalau kita ubah pun, uh, K bila dibawa ke sini. Uh, so, 50 akan ke sini. So, RM10 
kena bahagi dengan RM50 50 ya right so how much did you get so RM10 you divide by RM50 so kita akan dapat 0.20 ataupun 20 per percent so this is your answer the K is actually 20 percent simple just simple as that so this will be your final answer so i'm coloring to this one and bold okay so this will be your answer okay let's take a look on the next questions um preferred stock is uh, frequently called as hybrid security why so you have to explain so yes preferred stock is a hybrid security actually the answer is already down below just i just uh, writing it back so that you will understand okay uh, because uh, why it is called hybrid kenapa dia dipanggil hybrid uh, macam kereta kan hybrid car macam mana dia function right it's still a car tetapi for hybrid car uh, it doesn't use normal fuel kan it use electricity and so on right so, because it has the characteristic of the bond as well. Sebab tu kita panggil dia hybrid uh, security. Uh, for preferred stock, dalam masa yang sama, dia memiliki ciri-ciri bond iaitu fixed return. Dan juga sama-sama tidak memiliki voting rights. Uh, okay. Dan uh, juga memiliki ciri common stock whereby dia menerima dividends dan boleh become part of the owner of the company so that's why dia kita panggil uh, preferred stock ni sebagai high hybrid security faham ya so that's why we call it as a hybrid security okay so refer back to the third question uh, may 2011 maju jaya berhad uh, issued preferred stock, PS referring to preferred stock, paying annual dividend of RM six ringgit and fifty cent. The discount rate of similar share in the market is eighteen point five percent. Determine the value of the preferred stock issued by this company. Okay, so dia nak kita uh, determine uh, the uh, value of the preferred stock, which is the VPS. This one. Dia nak this one. Dia nak price. Okay. So, kita try to calculate uh, for May 2011. One moment. Okay. So, for May 2011, so the formula is still the same. VPS equal to D over K. Right. So, we uh, are calculating the VPS. So, we don't know yet what is the DPF, DPS rate. The dividend given is RM um, 6.5. Uh, so, ringgit and 50 cents. So, this, this is the already the uh, annual dividend. Now, quarterly, you know, semi-annually. So, this is the uh, exactly the dividend. So, RM 6 ringgit and 50 cents. We are going to divide by the 18.5 per percent. Okay, kita bahagi saja dengan 18.5 percent. Iaitu 0.185. So, you will get the answer lah over here. Which is the VPS in RM lah. For VPS because uh, the value of the uh, ataupun price of the share. So, in RM. 35.14 so this will be your final answer for this one okay 35.94 right so uh, that will be your answer for this question just simple as that one okay and uh, for next question October 2012 uh, suppose your friends own 100 shares of Alibaba preferred stock. The fair price is RM52 ringgit per share and the share is paying an annual dividend of uh, RM4 ringgit and 50 cent per share. So you are required to calculate the required rate of return. What are these questions referring to? This one. 
This is the K. So, dia nak you cari nilai K. Required rate of return. So, we are referring to this, uh, um, yes, October 2012. October 2012. Okay. So, VPS. Right. So, D over K again. And this time around, D that we have is RM uh, RM4.50. Eh? So, nilai K kita tak tahu. What are the V, P, nilai value dia tadi? Okay, value dia, the price dia adalah this one, RM52. Okay, RM52. So, dekat sini VPS nya adalah RM52. So, again, the one that we are looking for is K, right? So, K, dia akan jadi dekat sini RM4.50 divided by RM52. So, you will get your K over here sebanyak um, 0 0.0865 ataupun equal to 8.0865. 65%. So, yes. This is will be your final answer. Okay. So, 0 0.0865 or uh, uh, turn it into percentage 8.65%. Okay. That will be your answer. Okay. So, dia, soalan ni dia ask lagi if he requires a 10% return. Should he buy or sell more of the stock at RM52? Okay, so sekiranya dia memerlukan 10% return, adakah dia perlu beli ataupun jual stock tersebut? Okay, so for this one, you have to compare. Sekiranya dia required a uh, uh, 10% return, sedangkan K yang kita calculated adalah 8.65%. Okay. So, kalau dia perlukan another 10% uh, return, so he actually uh, kena jual more stock. He should sell more stock. Sebabnya dengan current market price of RM52, the required rate of return is less. So, dengan kadar harga jualan uh, ke pasaran pada masa itu RM52. Okay. Uh, dan dia perlukan uh, 10%. Sedangkan when you calculated the return is actually 8.65% only. So, uh, so uh, he actually should sell more of the stock lah. Uh, lebih kepada digalakkan untuk Jual stok terbabit. Kalau kita kira um, dia punya K adalah rendah eh, compare dengan required. Kalau dia required 10%, dia, when we calculate, kita cuma dapat 8.65. Dengan Pada masa tu dengan harga uh, kadar current market price adalah RM52 tadi. Dan dengan annual dividend sebanyak ni, so kita cuma dapat K around 8.65% sahaja. So, maknanya lebih digalakkan untuk dia ju, jual more of the stock lah. But, sekiranya sebaliknya, uh, required rate of return dia rendah, dekat sini K dapat tinggi. Kan? Uh, itu barulah kita katakan dia patut berbeli lebih banyak. Sebab nilai stock tu sebenarnya adalah sangat tinggi. Kan? Uh, right? So, inilah jawapan dia. Right, so this is the questions that normally being asked for uh, preferred stock uh, chapters. Quite simple and it's easier for you to fix uh, the calculation. So that will be all for this chapter. Good luck.